We have here a trajectory of a golf ball or a tennis ball in 26100. We shoot it up at an angle alpha. The horizontal component in the x direction is v0 cosine alpha, and the vertical component is v0 sine alpha. It reaches the highest point at p, and it returns to the ground at point s. This is the increasing y direction, and this is the increasing x direction. We're going to use very heavily the equations that you see here that are so familiar with us. These are the one-dimensional equations in x direction when there is, where there is no acceleration, and the one-dimensional equations in the y direction where there is acceleration. In order to use these equations, we need all these constants x0, v0x, and v0y. We have seen those last time. I choose for x0. I choose zero arbitrarily, also for y0. The velocity in the x direction will never change. This v0x will always remain v0 cosine alpha. The velocity in the y direction, however, in the beginning at t equals zero is v0 sine alpha, and that one will change because there is here this t, and that's why the velocity is going to change. This t will do it. And the acceleration in the y direction, since this is increasing value of y, is going to be negative 9.8, since I call always 9.8 plus, uh, since I always call g plus 9.8, this is um, minus 